A huge congratulations to my buyers and huge congratulations to all of you who now own a Honda CRV Sport L. Let me show you the settings for your personalized settings worksheet. Just in case you forgot about it, it's going to be super quick, super fast. So uh, what you're going to want to do here, you see I got my Android Auto hooked up. You're going to want to go straight into the screen right here, the home screen. Go here to the right, you're going to see vehicle settings. Vehicle settings, what you're gonna do, this happens to be driver two, so pay attention to that. TPMS calibration. If ever you have a low, uh, excuse me, the uh, you know the uh, the low pressure light that goes on right there, all you gotta do is hit calibrate. Once you calibrate it, it's generally gonna take that away. You may have to do it four times, once per each tire, okay? So that was cool the way I did it with the fingers. Driver assist system setup, oops. Vehicle settings, driver assist system setup. So this is your forward collision warning distance. How far or how close do you want to be with the vehicle in front of you when you're following it and you're trailing it when you're using your Honda Sensing? So once you hit the active, the uh, the cruise control right there. So this is the, the gap adjustment right here, right? So what it's trying to tell you is how far of a, of a distance, just like your gap alert, when you want them to warn you you're getting too close, long, normal, or short. I recommend if you drive faster than normal to use shorts because then if you notice right now, you're getting a lot of a uh, blink, 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 a bunch of brakes right there, right? So that's how you're going to eliminate that. ACC for a uh, forward vehicle detect beep. So when you're using adaptive cruise control, as soon as it detects something in front of you as far away as that uh, pole right there in front of the white SUV you see right there in front of us, it's going to beep, letting you know that it recognizes there's something in front of it, an object specifically. All right, lane keeping assist suspension beep. I like to turn that on. Basically, when you're um, doing the lane keeping assist suspension beep, when you're driving, bottom right button right here, okay? It's gonna put that icon on and then you'll have those two green lines. So when those green lines are on, it'll beep when it turns off, when it's been suspended, when it doesn't recognize the lanes, when you're going too slow or too fast. Uh, so that would be that right there, keyless access setup. Door unlock mode. So when you go to grab the handle in the car with the key is on your person, you just put your hand in the handle, boom. And as long as the key is on your person, um, you know, anywhere, if it's in a bag, if it's in an actual purse or you as a person, it's on you. Um, in your pocket, what have you, you just reach your hand in and it'll open the driver door. If you switch it to here, whether you put your hand in the passenger door or whether you put your hand in the driver door, it's going to unlock all doors. Great, great, great for parents. Okay, next we're going to have the uh, lockout protection. So you may notice when you go up to your vehicle, see when it's enabled, if the door is locked, then closed, and the keyless remote is not able to be located due to proximity or interference, example like a cell phone, which happens all the time with my trunk, the doors will unlock and a warning sound. The driver can then locate the remote, otherwise the doors will relock in 15 seconds. So if it doesn't recognize the remote, <clears throat> doesn't know the remote's around it, when you lock the door, it's going to go beep, 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 and it's just going to stay unlocked. That's a very long 15 seconds. Trust me, super long. Uh, it's turned on. If you want to turn it off, just go into that setting and turn it off. Um, you decide when you um, get into that situation what you want to do about it. And lastly, the door window setup. So I'm going to do this right here, shift from park. Okay, so think of if you're at an ATM machine, right? And you're over here doing all this and, and that and getting all your ATM stuff out the way and you haven't locked the doors on your car yet, then what it's gonna do is wait till you hit 10 miles an hour. Well, hey, if uh, your vehicle is uh, you know, going less than 10 miles an hour, those doors are unlocked. If you're at an ATM machine, you're driving less than 10 miles an hour. Walk away auto lock. As soon as I end this video right now, you're gonna see walk away auto lock. We're gonna turn that on. Super love that thing right there. And then auto door unlock. And then as soon as you open up the driver door, boom, it's gonna unlock. So there's that right there for you. I hope it was informative. Big congratulations to you, all you happy owners. You guys deserve it. And uh, I'm so glad that you chose this as your um, as your decision because you made a great, great choice and it's a great vehicle. Not only because I'm a Honda salesperson, but I see so many happy buyers with CRVs with hundreds of thousands of miles, hundreds of thousands of miles. So there you go, something short, something sweet. If you have any other questions, reach out to me, Dominic, D-O-M-I-N-I-C at TracyHonda.com or just get a hold of your local Honda dealer or the person who sold it to you and ask those questions and they should be super happy to help you out. Whether it's features like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM, the hybrid system, so on. Big congratulations again to you.